Yoruba groups won against move to silence Akin Toye, Iwoho, and Kano. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Say plan not way out of separatist agitation. Now the news in detail. The coalition of Yoruba self-determination groups yesterday won President Muhammad Buhari that silenced the leader of the Ilana Omodua, Prof. Banji Akintoye, the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, Namdekano, and Yoruba Nation agitators Sunday Adeyemo, Ibuho, and others will not put an end to the separatist agitations across the country. The coalition was reacting to the attack on Prof. Akintoye's house and the arrest of Ibuho. This was contained in a statement made available to journalists by its Secretary General, Dr. Steve Abuyi, in Ibadan, your your state capital. The Coalition of Yoruba Self-Determination Group received the news of the attack on the house of a leader of Ilana Omodua, Prof. Banji Akintoye, with utter sense of disappointment. Prof. Banji Akintoye is an elder statesman who has spared his dues in ensuring a better society and general well-being of Yoruba land and even Nigeria, before he made a detour to Yoruba secessionist agenda as a result of the refusal of the Northern Establishment to accept restructuring of Nigeria. Inasmuch as the coalition is not linking the federal government to this deadly act of cowardice, it is our belief that a state should ensure that thorough investigation is carried out to convince Nigerians that government knew nothing about it and the perpetrators brought to book, the statement said. The coalition stressed that the only way secessionist agitations across Nigeria can be nipped in the board is for the President Muhammad Buhari-led government to begin the process of putting machinery in motion to either bring back the pre-1966 constitution, which was the founding fathers of Nigeria, agreed upon, and which enabled each region of Nigeria to be autonomous of the center to an appreciable degree or to reverse its Jonathan National Conference report. The group added, federal government needs to be told the gospel truth that silencing Anamdekano or Iwoho or Akintoye or Dokumbo is not the way out of separatist agitation, as more of such people will still emerge in the society except the government does the needful of genuine restructuring based on people's constitution. I totally agree with the last paragraph. There is nothing that you are going to be able to do if at all the government has a hand in what is going on. Of course, the government has a hand in the detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob, Namdekano, and Sunday Igboho, the leader of uh, the Yoruba nation. So um, there is nothing you can do about these people. The thing is, even if you silence them, even if it at all it is the, go <laughs> the government's plan to silence them, more people will come up. And this is the reason, because you, that will only be a surface. It is not a solution, sincerely. It will even make the agitations grow louder. It will make it like, it will fuel it. Like a fire it has already been kindled and you're adding diesel, you're adding fuel to it and, you know, it keeps burning. That is what it, it will do. If the the heat was uh, um, 10, <laughs> 10 Celsius degree before, it will increase. It will increase the agitations. While these people now, the thing is, to find a lasting solution, a solution that is going to end these agitations once and for all, is to go back to the drawing board. Some of these people now, most especially the indigenous people of Biafra, before now, before ever the detention of their said leader now, Mazin Namdekano, before ever they started asking uh, uh, for, what's it called again, for cessation. What was their initial, what was people mumming about? I'm sure the government can go back and find what and what and what i'm sure several people have written to the government to to restructure the constitution about marginalization and tribalism sincerely that is the problem what these people are asking for is equity fairness and justice that is what has been there that is has been the agenda in fact 
individually that has been the citizens of Nigeria's plan to make sure that justice is not far, fairness is, is abides in Nigeria and equity. There is equality in allocation of funds, equity in allocation of resources, equity in allocation of appointments, in development, infrastructural development and social amenities. It, this particular thing is, is being built in this state. This state already has it. What can you use to ba balance it up there? So that you will not have people come out and keep... And that is it. You have to go back to the root cause of the problem. You cannot just say, oh, okay, we are going to silence these people. That is, If that is the plan of this administration. If you do that, more, I'm telling you, more fresh people. People that their agitations is going to be very, very hot. More, 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 how am I going to put it now? More steamy than this will come up. The thing is to go back to the drawing board and find out what exactly these people want. And it is not even, these people have said it before. They are not asking you for diamond. They're not asking you for gold. They're not even asking you for money. In fact, this present administration negotiates with bandits. Because bandits go as far as kidnapping people. And of course, the government, you know, reaches out to them. Of course, both top people have been kidnapped. We are not, um... We are not going to say we are not in the know. Citizens of, you know, top high politicians have been kidnapped. And what did the government do? They call those people and they reach a negotiation. And they get paid. These people, they are not doing that. All they are saying that they want is equity, fairness, and justice. And if this is not done, if this is not done, it is going to cause more problem. Now, looking at it from another angle is, um, instead of a government to do this, why not call those people for negotiation? And dialogue. This particular present administration, they negotiate with bandits. These bandits come, kidnap people, they kill, they rape, they kidnap, and they come and say to their full chest that they do these things. And yet, when they kidnap people, they take ransom, the government negotiates with them, and they pay them money. And at the end of it, they just said money I used to buy more arms and ammunition that they used to keep neutralizing and killing troops that are sent down to make sure there's peace in the northern region. Why won't the government now that, that, that negotiates with uh, um, this, this set people now that commit all sort of crimes? I do not understand why the government will not also not negotiate and dialogue with these people. And of course, the dialogue and negotiation is not only going to be done because I tell you, even those that are not saying anything and are not agitating, they are also they also have areas that they want. They will want uh, um this particular um issues now to be to I mean to areas they are going to say oh they need um, restructuring on, and of course a beautiful suggestion was made by huh, I for, I've, I cannot recall the name, but the man even said that the, the what Nigeria citizens need now, that what we as a nation need. It's not even a constitution because, number one, people that, you know, that came together and um, laid down that constitution, they're no longer available. And terms and conditions and times are no longer in, as in, it was not like in those days that certain things were happening. That it is even a new one. That is another beautiful suggestion. I just hope that at the end of the day, this administration will find, will find a way of calling for negotiation rather than taking the path of force and coercion. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.